You can do it. You can do it. We're gonna make it to the top. We are going to make it to the top. What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and I did that Rover Builder video the other day and when I did I tried to make um, this type of suspension here which is called a rocker bogey suspension and uh, this blue arm here being the rocker and this yellow arm being the bogey. The real Mars Rovers, the ones that are just sort of, you know, driving around aimlessly, well not aimlessly, but the ones that are just driving around on Mars, they actually use this type of suspension and there's a few different reasons to use it. One of them being that there's no actual springs involved. Each wheel is actually just attached on a rigid arm with a couple of bearings here, but as you change the elevation, you can see there the bogey on the back here will adjust and the rocker can adjust independently. And then of course, this little bearing point here would go to the chassis. Now, I decided to recreate that here and uh, I've got a red one and a blue one just because one uses gas engines and one uses electric engines, but they're a little bit different than the Mars rovers in real life. So I, I wanted to make just very simple rovers that had the same sort of setup and uh, normally they are six wheel drive completely with front and back steering. So I did do the front and back steering so you have four wheel steering with two wheels in the middle and uh, you know the bogey here as well and then the rocker here. But the one thing I didn't do is the rovers themselves are actually attached to the body through a differential on this axis. So right now the body basically has to be perfectly level and if we add some weight on the back we can see what happens. But if we take you know some metal blocks and add them on the back you can see we actually start to tip the weight of that uh, of that body. What this means is the rovers here, they're gonna try and stay level with, with gravity. If you look at the Mars rovers in real life, they have a differential through here, and maybe I'll try remaking a much bigger one that uses an actual differential, but what that differential is gonna do is provide a little bit of friction against gravity and cause the rover body to actually maintain sort of an average between these two positions and gravity rather than, uh, you know, exactly there. But these mechanisms, really, really cool how the rocker bogey works, and, uh, you know, it actually works as a really, really good all-terrain vehicle. This one uses uh, two electric motors in the back there, and uh, just really, I mean, you could do it with one, but it uses two electric motors, but I only hooked up the front four wheels, and uh, I'll show you why if we get to these rocks here. So, they, they do have to move pretty slow because everything is on free-floating bearings, but as we go over the rocks, you can see the front rocker will... Oh, and... I'm bottoming out on that rock there. Oh boy, yeah, no, that's that's exactly, that's, that's perfect. So the reason we have to use four electric motors instead of six-wheeled power is, is mainly when we go to climb obstacles. If we're driving on flat ground, having all six wheels powered is not a big deal. But when we come to an obstacle here, you see we can ride into it no problem. And uh, once those wheels catch, they're good to go. Now I did use barrels instead of rubber wheels just because I thought the barrels were a little bit more size appropriate. For the uh for the rover size but uh i wouldn't mind making sort of an ai version of this it would be cool to have a rover that's actually like the mars rover that's remote controlled but also does its own sort of pathfinding and just driving around and uh with that level chassis i mean see just the weight of the chassis keeps it pretty much level with gravity all the time but again putting a differential through it might be cool but let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below if i should you know revisit this as an ai project or uh or put some you know put some cool remote control stuff into it or whatever or maybe a combination of both oh come on you can, oh no oh yeah so one of the issues that i noticed in scrap mechanic and uh the real mars rover uses uh, electric motors and then uses electric motors for steering as well but they have the ability to independently control them and have different throttle settings right and one of the issues with scrap mechanic that you run into is if we connect these back wheels let's say that the electric motors have a crazy amount of grip. So when we're driving on flat ground, it's not really an issue. If we go over some small little like, I don't know, like whoops here, if we want to call them that. I mean, they don't really, right? You can see all six wheels constantly staying in contact with the ground, which is the whole point of the rocker boat, uh, except for there. And you can kind of see what's happening. But basically, if we, if we hit a rock now, when we go to hit a rock, the back wheels have so much power you can see there they just push the entire rocker up and that's why with the electric model we have to actually keep these back wheels disconnected and have them just for steering because now if we go into this rock the back wheel doesn't try to push the rocker over and instead the uh, all four wheels work together but of course we lose a little bit of power and uh, oh there we go and that'll just recenter with gravity there 
But overall, I mean, it's really, really cool. I love the way that the uh, the rover, it's very much just a crawler. It, uh, But the way it crawls over terrain is just awesome. And uh, I really like how it's replicated. But I definitely think I should uh, I should try doing this with a differential through the middle and see how that uh, how that actually changes things. I mean, I the scrap mechanic differential does work. Oh, oh boy, I probably need a hard stop on it too. There we go, perfect. I tried to fix the six wheeled problem with gas engines because gas engines do have a little bit of friction to them. And so if we have this gas powered rover, it's it's definitely a lot faster. But you can even see there the same kind of thing happens when you hit an obstacle. Um, the, the back tries to push over it, and on top of that, you know, gas engines are pretty much gutless. They don't they don't really have much power. But you can see we hit this obstacle, and uh, that the back wheel pushes up and over. So I, I might need to do some sort of like a friction thing on the back of the bogey, um, and maybe have the bogey instead of just having a hard stop, some sort of friction. Ideally, you'd have the ability to can change each of the motor's power. You know, obviously in Scrap Mechanic, we don't really have that capability. Uh, maybe we could do something with some logic, but again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below and you can see there It just just conquers each obstacle. No problem, but uh, let's just go up here And just uh, you know, I like the first person view of this I find it's really nice overall It's a very very smooth ride though with all six wheels constantly on the ground you uh, you do get a little bit of tilt But uh, you know the wheels do they do roll pretty much over any obstacle without you noticing too much. So let's see if we can get up here. This thing should be able to do it unless we bottom out. Are we bottomed out? I can't tell. We might be bottoming out a little bit here. No, we're good. You can see it just, you know, it's 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 honestly such a cool experience to rock climb at first person. It just it feels like you're you're just kind of floating over each of the obstacles. Let's just uh let's just see. I think we're bottomed out here though. Oh no, no we're not. See, just a wicked wicked rover and this doesn't use oh boy, now we're where we uh, we scraped on the the mountain there. Hold on, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll recover. And this isn't using any thrusters, no downward force, none of that. It's completely vanilla, completely uh, glitch free. And uh, you can really see why the NASA boys decided that rocker bogey was the way to go. I mean, it's uh, you know for for an Earth-based vehicle that wants to move quick, it's not very useful. Definitely one of my more favorite vehicles. But you can see why I'd want to make this an AI project. It's it's super slow, and uh, you know with that speed. It would be very useful to have some sensors on it and some circuits and just have it sort of free roam the map and figure out where it wants to go. But again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. This was just sort of a build that uh, after that one video I decided, you know what, I kind of want to fix this. Because I know in Scrap, in, in Rover Builder the issue is the linkages aren't rigid. But in Scrap Mechanic everything is perfectly rigid. There's no, you know, you can't bend a link in Scrap Mechanic. You can't break a link. Um, because, you know, you have the wrong forces on it. So I wanted to remake the rocker bogey and scrap mechanic for sure, but I think I definitely need to do the differential thing across the rocker and uh, figure out some way to put some sort of resistance on the bogeys. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, while you're doing that, make sure you smash that like button. It is a really, really cool rock climber. I, I love rock climbers and scrap mechanic, and uh, I really should make a lot more of them with other cool suspension types. All right, let's just conquer this right here let's just go like see like it just drives right into it and this is only using the front four wheels power there is obviously some collision issues with where the rocks actually think they are but no just scrape it a little bit on the bottom there now yeah, we're doing good but i mean this is ridiculous like it doesn't even it doesn't even care it's almost like an ant climbing up an ant hill oh bottoming out there a little bit come on don't bottom out Like I said, no thrusters, nothing, nothing sneaky about this. This is just straight vanilla rock climbing, and this is a very, we're bottoming out. The front of the capsule is kind of hitting stuff. That's see, you can see there, it, it hits it. Come on, get over that ridge. It's always perfect. All right, this is amazing. I mean, this is this is actually ridiculous. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. We're gonna make it to the top of this mountain. I mean, obviously, like, one of the best rock crawling designs. I really should, if you put bigger wheels on this even, it would probably work even better because you'd get a little bit more of that ground clearance. And, uh, again, if we had the ability to control the console, like, I mean, look at that. The, 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 uh, the capsule there, sorry, not the console. The capsule is, uh, uh-oh, no. Oh, we flipped the leg. So, obviously, the capsule, uh, needs a few hard stops to prevent the, uh, the 180 degree spinning. But, again... Let me know what you guys think and what uh, what you think the future of this design should be. I think it's great though. As a rock crawler, this is insane. 
I mean, you can't really do this with gas motors, though. That's the thing. But, uh, again, with the electrics, I need, a, I need to make a way to, to be able to turn on and off the back ones, but have them on a neutral gear. But that would be, I mean, you need a whole, you need the ability to basically disconnect the back ones and connect them only when you want them. All right, let's see. Can we, we can do this. Yeah, just bottoming out. Come on, come on. Get up over there. You can do it. You can do it. We're going to make it to the top. We are going to make it to the top. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. You can do it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. The bogey there on the one side is just kind of stuck. Come on. There we go. Come on. Yes. Holy cow. That is insane. Oh, no, no, no. I think I went too far. All right. Well, we're not going to we're not going to touch that. But anyways, guys, make sure you guys hit that like button down below and uh, let me know what other kind of cool suspension types you'd like to see. I again, like I said, I just had to do this because I saw how the last one worked and uh, this is actually insane. Can we can we get into a better position here? Oh boy, maybe not. I didn't I didn't think we'd actually make it all the way up. Oh, we're totally screwed. I am going to upload this rover to the workshop. Uh, again, it doesn't have the back wheels connected, but uh, I think this is a pretty good version of the rocker boat suspension. So let me know what you guys think, and uh, make sure you hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>